Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you had a good day today. Good day for me. Let's get right into it because this might take a while because you guys want me to talk about it and I want to say a few things. <clears throat> Latafa Ballet da Oud, whatever Sublime. Latafa Sublime. Nice sprayer on it. This is like fruit punch. <laughs> Honestly, it's like fruit punch almost right off the top. Like a, a, a nice fruit punch, not like a Kool-Aid or anything. More, more, more classy than that. Like a, like a, like an ocean spray. <laughs> um, I'm gonna give you a whole bunch of notes. You can look them up yourself. I'm gonna give you what I just the smell I get. This is, <clears throat> this is surprisingly a fresh scent. Uh, almost like a watery vibe, but it's not aquatic in any way. Um. And the freshness is coming from those juicy fruits. I know there's lychee in here and apple and some citrus. So, you know, you're getting all these juicy, sweet fruits. And that's kind of what you get off the top. Like, you're just seeing what I said. It's, it's almost like a, <clears throat> you know, a, an expensive fruit punch. You know, it, it's kind of what you get. Um, and that kind of lasts for, for a solid hour or so before anything really starts to change. Um... And then you start picking up on a hint of rose, but it's not, <clears throat> it's kind of like the fruit was like, I don't know how to say it, uh, had like rose water pouring over it. You know what I mean? It's it, To my nose, it's never uh, a strong rose. Some people say it is. I think they just key in on rose better than I do. Uh, we just key in on different things because to me, it's mostly fruit, sweet, fresh, juicy fruit. And, uh. But I, it has to be there because it is detectable. And what it's doing, <clears throat> that rose is giving a, giving the sweet fruits a bit of a backbone, giving it some character. Because um, it's, it's a kind of fresh, dusty, powdery, light rose smell. And without it, I think the fruits would be way too sweet and off-putting, just actually kind of gross uh, without that floral aspect giving it like i said just giving it some character some some nuance um yeah like a nuance to the scent it just gives it a nuance um and that's pretty much the scent in a nutshell for the first <clears throat> like i said the first 40 minutes to an hour is just kind of a the rose is there, but it's mostly that juicy, fresh, watery fruit. Sweet, sweet fruit. Um, and then, like I said, about 40 minutes into an hour, that rose really starts to help with that and make it a better scent. Because I really, like I say, I dislike the opening in that first 40 minutes or so, but it's it's not my style. With that rose, giving it a bit of a, you know, it's it's better. Still not for me, but better. Um, and the rose that kind of lasts that kind of sweet <clears throat> fruity rose kind of vibe lasts three and a half four hours and then it never goes red the, the, the life of the scent is literally sweet fruit and rose but as time goes on, of course, they, they die down a bit. A few other things come to take its place. And the main thing that does is kind of this slightly sweet, again, powdery vanilla kind of comes up and uh, gives a boost both to the rose and the fruit. Gives a boost to that dusty vibe from the rose and the sweetness from the fruit and kind of changes the sweetness while it's still fruity. It's got a vanilla tinge to it. Which is really nice. And that lasts again for a good three or four hours. And then it kind of dries down into a nice powdery, slightly vanilla musk. And that's it. That's the scent. <clears throat> I don't find it displeasing. I don't find it, you know, some, I mean, a lot of people are just singing this praise of this thing. And I, I don't get that. It's not bad. I wouldn't say it's anything. It's not masculine. Not completely feminine either. 
can be worn by both genders, but I think it's a, a you have to be pretty confident as a man to wear it. Um, like for me, it wouldn't bother me. Um, I'd wear it, um, but it's just a little too feminine. I'd have to be in the mood is what I'm saying. It's not something I'm going to, I've got hundreds of fragrances and it's not something I can ever see me Jones into wear. Oh, I can't wait to wear it. I'm going to wear this. I have to be something I'm just going through. Yeah, I'll wear this today, you know, kind of deal. I'm just kind of in the mood for it. And because it does lead feminine. Not near as bad. Now, this, some people said they get a Baccarat Rouge vibe from it. And I do get that. There's a point <clears throat> somewhere in the mid where the, 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 uh, the fruit gives one last hurrah for about 20 minutes. And it's super sweet, almost candied. And then, like I said, that vanilla comes in and kind of tames it back down. And at that point, it does kind of have that Baccarat Rouge vibe. But I don't think it's, I don't know what it's supposed to be a clone of. I never looked. Don't care. Um, but uh, yeah, and that's it in a nutshell. So what is the scent, guys? It's fresh, juicy, sweet, almost fruit punchy kind of fruit. Uh, slightly exotic too with the lychee and whatnot. Um, with this nice backbone of a dusty floral rose and a base of a dry down of. Uh, powdery vanilla and fruit and then a kind of a slightly powdery sweet vanilla and a musk in the base the fire dry down that's it how long does it last good question <clears throat> pretty good pretty good i'll give devil its due you know uh, i got at least eight hours out of this probably closer to 10 because i had to shower and i was into the the skin scent but still you could smell it but it was again at that point that vanilla rose kind of, or vanilla musk kind of combo so and it was getting pretty light <clears throat> but for the first two two and a half hours especially the first hour the first hour it's almost beast it, you know it is beast it's way out there that fruit with the citruses and then and, and the juicy it's just popping off your skin and it comes in a little bit about an arm's length away and it stays there for another hour hour and a half and that rose is coming out it's just beautiful at that point Really do like it at that point. I wish it was the whole scent, but unfortunately, it's only about three hours of it. And then it comes in and gives you a nice bubble, about a foot, for another few hours. And then it kind of becomes a skin scent. At about the eight-hour mark, it was becoming a skin scent on me, like I said, and that's when it hit the base. So at the end of the day, it's a sweet, like I said, a sweet, juicy, fresh, fruity, rosy, vanilla, musky scent. And... And leads feminine. I don't think near as feminine as Baccarat Rouge. Um, to me, Baccarat Rouge, as I've said, and it's cloned, it smells like a teenage girl's perfume. Whereas this smells like a, a full-grown woman's perfume or a confident man could wear it. Like I said, or somebody who likes that kind of smell, you could wear it. And if you like this guy, don't 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 listen to me. It's not that I don't like it. I just, for me, it's, it's a little too, <clears throat> just though, just too feminine like i said there'll be days where i can wear it and be fine most of the time should be nah i want something a little different a little more a little more hair on his chest you know Brr. anyway guys that's it um so i'd recommend trying it especially if you like fruity scents light scents not light in the terms of but i mean like watery kind of juicy fruity scents and rose you're probably going to like it and uh ladies out there i would love this on a lady I mean, because like I said, I really do love the scent. It's just not for me. That's all. And that's okay. We all have our opinions. We all have our likes and dislikes. We all have our feelings. And while I don't dislike that one, like I said, I love the smell of it. I would like it on a woman more than I want to wear it. So, yeah, that's it, guys. Peace, love, be good to each other, and be good to yourselves.